This series is about playing games. All 656 of them on my Steam library. What a dilemma. I'm a peasant? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Of course, you get Lord Streamer status. <laughs> I only ever have one opportunity to outsmart you, and that was way back and a way out, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. ever since then, I've been sharp, sharp as a knife. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Fun, though. All fun games in the end. All right. Key bindings. Okay, cool, cool. The key is communication. Of course it is. Or even the room itself. Same answer won't work twice. Do you know the definition of insanity? Real Far Cry 3 reference. Hey, look, it's somehow connected to the first game. Ooh. Ooh, but there's four of us instead of two. No, there was always four. Was there always four? The left. Oh, I yeah. So. We lost then the first. Yeah, we separated from the others. That guy's just falling over because he's tired. Oh, game audio is pretty loud. Yeah, you didn't turn it down. Hey, we lost our, our two mates that were behind us. Okay, so there's a castle in the flare. is just a magical castle appears out of nowhere. Yeah, Look! Nice. They've got tapestries now! <laughs> the tapestry. And we're locked in. Yep. Oh, it's the House of Lannister. The finest of tapestries. So someone's going downstairs to the pit of hell by the looks of it. <laughs> And the other person's going upstairs. I'm assuming the person going upstairs is you. Mm, being maybe. A, a lord and all. Possibly. Hello? Is there anybody down here? Huh? What's this? <laughs> oh. Oh, hello. I'm holding the radio in my hand. Not that we're going to be using it. Yep. Okay. Alright. Interesting, right. interesting. Coffins around. The door's locked. Door okay, locked. it looks like I'm in a, a place. There's a big coffin in the middle with symbols. Oh, the symbols are back again. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, oh, so. Am I. Ooh. My I can rotate my symbols, so I'm assuming you're gonna have to tell me what symbols I have to put in. It's oh, only okay. three symbols I have to put in, by the way. Okay. Only three. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. I can see some symbols, and they're very similar to the symbols we had last time. Okay. Uh, that door's very also similar. locked. Um, I'm assuming that you've got a coffin in your room that you said, right? Yes, I've got, a, I've, I've got a coffin with like three symbols on it. I can rotate to different symbols. I've got multiple coffins. Um, okay, um, I have a coffin here. It's brown. Uh -huh. It's got metal bracing on the side. But on the top of it, it's got a golden cross. I just adjust my brightness, give it a bit more. Okay, actually max it out. There we go. There we go. Now I can see. All right, uh... Okay, so you're looking for a coffin with metal bracing around the sides of it. Uh, on top is a golden cross. Top is a golden cross. Well, yeah, I see that. It might that looks like a bronze cross, but it could be. Well, it's just oh. a cross. I mean, oh, they're all bit... they're all the same. They're all the same. I've, they're all the same for me. Because uh, I've oh, okay. one, two, three, three coffins in the room, and they are all the same. Um, oh. and above what? these, above these coffins have symbols. Um, however, there are also gaps where coffins would be, 
and they also have symbols above them is it just is it just one gap that's missing no there's there's also three gaps so there's three coffins with there's three holes with coffins and three holes without basically okay i'm assuming uh, they're like inset into the wall yeah okay so maybe you could probably describe to me one of your um one of your images and see if i can line them up with whichever set that we're dealing with here like the either one that has the coffins in or the coffins without okay i mean i've only got symbols i can rotate through and i've got quite a lot of them oh, yeah. one, two, three, four. so that's one two three four five six yeah i've got like six different symbols on my yeah so thing. i also have six symbols um because of the six holes and just three <coughs> well, just tell me one of the three for now keep, let's keep things simple because All we right. over we overthought things the first time around but well, here's something done really simple well, do you remember our do you remember our little thing that we designated as our fox friend uh yes uh well i found him um and it, he's a, he's a so it's basically a diamond with two triangles as ears uh, and he's got two hands well two arms but no feet he's a uh, yeah yeah okay i do uh, have one of those symbols yeah so that's in a in a coffin filled spot that symbol okay well tell me what the other two two symbols are going to be um the other one is <clears throat> almost similar to that fox in that f the fox one except he doesn't have ears and it's like a nearly complete diamond so his head is a neat is it's and he's got a line so he's he's missing his ears he has none but like the, maybe the top like 10 percent of it is nothing there's yes. nothing there correct right? yeah. it's just being like cut off yeah yeah okay i've got that simple too let's yeah. go to the third and one. the last one is oh this literally is like a loading symbol so you know how your mouth your mouse has the um what's it called when it loads an, it does a so it looks like an hourglass an hourglass yeah it looks like an hourglass uh but if you if you need to be more descriptive uh it's got two lines across the top half of it oh yeah i, I got the simple I, I definitely yep. got the simple here all right i'm gonna pull the lever on my side and see if it works hey go. got an achievement oh my door's open i've reached a checkpoint all right nice oh hello where am i now Ooh. I have a diary here. I have a book. Hmm. One, what is this? Three, that's four. That's five. Am I doing a ritual or something? What's going on? Alright. My love for you burnt with the intensity of a thousand suns. Your beauty sh nice the i can't read this writing at the pride of life of their altar and the and at colorful at the sauna oh my gosh i can't read this <laughs> how can you not read it I, i'm looking at a diary i read mine it's cursed been happy in my life than the moment i met you and i'm honored to receive your love in exchange i wish i could be with you forever amid the promise of your eternal love and this very thrilling but wait what okay i see what you mean now i'm trying to look at this word and i can't tell, tell what it you, is man. <laughs> very thrilling but the sacrifice is too great that's what the word is i cannot let you get through with this i cannot let you destroy the strong pure heart of yours i hope you would understand the things i have done to keep you from making the big mistake I want you to remember me as I was on that summer night in the rose garden. I want you to remember I'll always love you, and I want you to be. And I want you to remember I'll always be with you, even when I'm not in this earthly world anymore. Love you forever, and it's been torn off. Uh, my <laughs> thing begins with dear C, and it says love you forever B. This is dear B. Uh, Mine yes. starts with dear B. Yeah. So I'm assuming that these are two people from yes. different parts of the castle. Presumably. Right. Now, I also on the other page had some candles with the Roman numerals on them. 
I'm sorry I missed that last part because I looked at the ceiling and some creepy thing spoke to me. <laughs> oh, lovely. Um, yeah, some I've got I've had like some candles that had Roman numerals on them. Okay. I don't know if that's anything to do with anything that you can interact with here. Well, I can I can interact with uh, candles on my end. I can ah, okay, okay. Oh, you, you can, right? Okay, I can tell you probably... I think... It, do, are they lit or are they not lit? I can turn them on and off. Okay, I can, I can, I can give you an order. So, because there's a... Um, it looks like a... Um, What's the six-sided shape? Pentagram. Yeah. Um, it kind of looks like that. No, where that's the... wrong. That's a star. That's five hexagram. Yeah. So it's a, it's so they're laid out in a hexagram. The points being what the positions the, the candle the... should be in. Yeah. Okay. I do have that on my side. That's what I'm looking. Okay. For. So is your is the book or your diary near where those candles are? Yes, I would say that if I was standing behind the book on the pedestal, okay, it is at right from at the bottom of the of the. Okay, hexagram. so there's a, I can from, so I can give you the order because there's one, two, three, four, five, six that I see here. So okay, um, there's the top half and the bottom half, right? So the point being the top half, and so I'll refer to each of those points being uh, top. Uh, left and top middle and top right and top bottom left bottom middle and bottom right yeah cool all right so number one is top left so this is reading from this is from the book okay i'll, I'll copy the same so top left yeah all right and then what's next top right yep bottom right uh, yep bottom middle yep Top middle. Not just the top middle. Yep. All right. And then the and last then, one. Yeah. And the last one. Hey. Oh, that did that did something. It did something. I heard it. I heard it. Okay. A, I heard of effect change. That, that definitely did something. Uh, I oh hello. Almost long. I've got tapestries on the wall. Ah, do you? With symbols on them. Ah, I have two of those. So I've got a red one and I've got a blue one. Alright, um, well I'm at the blue one. Do you have a red one? Uh, yes I have a red one, but that's on the other side of the room. Okay, you, you go to the blue one, I'll go to the blue one as well. We're gonna have to collaborate what we see. Because I can interact with the symbols on my screen. Oh, okay. Oh. Is there a... There is a when symbol... You're looking, there is is yours symbol. like a complete symbol? Yes. Okay, I'm assuming that I'm gonna have to complete the symbols on my end. Right, so you're gonna have to combine them. <clears throat> yeah. Ah, okay. So, this one's hard to describe. Um, okay. I mean, so. I've only got. Okay, I'll say this. I only have one choice uh, out of three. Yep. At first, because I have to go from one symbol to the next uh-huh and if i want to get further on to the other symbols i have to connect them right like in a row of okay. sorts okay so do you like have them as rows uh you said no it's like a map almost right but i have to connect the dots together to form the final symbol that you've presumably got on your screen yes um, okay so we're starting at the blue blue one yes and i'm assuming the first one first bit kind of looks actually i can't say that because you've got the complete symbol you're gonna have to tell me what it looks like and i can I, do you do want me to start from the bottom of the symbol or the top or you know whichever direction you want to know uh, about i would say the bottom because that's the one i can put in next okay so the most distinctive thing about the bottom part is that it has it does a it's a line that does a curve and it is goes it, does into it look a, like a hook it kind of looks like a hook but it has a circle at the end of its tail okay i can do that yeah all right so i've locked it in right, what other distinctive features the are next there? Di distinctive feature is that um going up from that line from the tail of that circle it goes 
into what looks like two arms that are like waving or like doing the whole doing a whole swish or wave movement uh, they're not moving of course but it's like there's a um there's are you like talking a, about like if you're holding up your hands it look like goalposts with triangles on the top um yeah but just below that there's literally like two small arms that one is doing a angle upwards and one is doing an angle downwards if you kind of get my meaning there like they're they're mm -hmm. horizontal except that the that when they when you like if like for example you bend your arm you hold your arm you hold both your arms out horizontally right and then you bend your you bend your right arm upwards on a slight angle and you bend your left arm downwards on a slight angle oh, okay yeah I've, yeah I've got that I see that yep yeah and then yeah above that is where it splits off into two lines with two triangles at the end of those get yeah, goalposts basically yeah. or the letter u with triangles at the ends okay yeah, yeah I got and that. then what's and then the last distinctive feature is that it also splits off into the middle and it has a circle at the end of that is it just a circle no yeah. dot in the inside nope nope just a circle all right i'm assuming that's right i have no way to confirm until later on so i'm assuming that's right let's go to the red one let's go to the red one <clears throat> oh this red, should have done the red one first it looks more complex <laughs> okay okay so far the very first symbol i'm starting off with yeah is a cross here but it's rotated on an angle so it looks like an x that is at the bottom uh i'm that's exactly what i'm seeing uh do, does right. the does the x part of the cross here go overlap and go past the circle yes okay yes then yeah that's right that's already right okay so the next distinctive thing for me is uh a line coming up from the middle yep yep or the top of that circle going into different symbols yes. i know there's one that looks like a pitchfork and there's one that's different but you're gonna have to tell me which one okay it is. so um <coughs> just like maybe um just like a very short a very short line between uh that that circle and then it splits off into two horizontal lines and then at the end of those are two basically a c so they're all it's it's all connected so a c that goes off to the right and then a backward c that goes off to the left hold on okay oh so that's like a crossbar all right i see what yeah. that symbol is i know which one's next but you're gonna have to tell me some more about it okay so yeah when you go up from there it actually also then splits off again to two downward arms that point downward um so that sorry that are angled downward uh so like they're completely like a they're literally 45 degree angles on both sides so they're basic so everything mirrors each other here um so like the those so if you get one it looks exactly like a mirrored vision of that on the other side of it okay so i'm saying it is it like 45 degrees downward yes like these arms okay yeah, yeah. Yep. and then there's another set of arms that are completely horizontal with nothing on them. yep yep okay, okay. <clears throat> and then it sticks okay so up. if we go back to the the ones with the c's you're saying yes so it's basically just two c's obviously at each end but they're the opposite ring round and there's yes. just a line through the middle yes all right okay cool i've got that oh, oh shit i misclicked that one that one no that's wrong what no there we go uh okay what's next all right lastly next symbol. um it's it's it'll be most likely what's at the top yeah so um at the top is a u again and it's got two circles as heads there we go oh the center of my thing just lit a flame Ah, uh, so we haven't done the blue one then if that if that only happened for the red one then the blue there's something wrong with your blue one okay so let's go back to the blue one let's go back to the blue one because <coughs> my I can't, change, I can't change anything with the blue one you can't no i can't hold on uh, okay let's oh, just go hang on forward. a minute hang on a minute what the heck is this 
the door's locked. Okay. What did it do for you? I've got something in the middle here. So... Um... I can't interact with any of these. Um... Do I have to stand at a certain point? Oh, wait! Is it on the outside? Uh... Wait. Wait. Hang on. Wait. Okay. Um... Uh... Do I just... Oh, uh, hold on. Yeah? Jeez Louise, hold on. Uh, hold on a second. That is the sound effect. It was way too loud. To the music a wee bit. There we go. Uh, okay. Do you have, like, an inner circle to yes. the hexagram? Yes. Do you see symbols on it? I do. Okay. So, we're going to have to do this again with the same, like, top mid, top left, top right. You're going to have to tell me what those symbols are so I can put them in. Uh... Let's start with... The top There's one at 12 one. and work our way around, okay? There is, there are four, by the way. I mean, sorry, eight. Okay. There are eight in total. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there yeah, are we'll eight. Start at 12 and tell me which ones are turned on and off, because that's all I can do. Okie dokie. Like, they're all supposed to be on? <laughs> Wait, they're all on? They're all they're all lit up for me. Okay, um, I'm just going to turn them all on my side. Unless there's a certain order... Maybe. Because. Um, okay, yes, there's meant to be a certain order. Okay, so I'll start at one of them. Wait, hang on. Uh, oh, okay. Is it making a symbol on the ground on your side? No. Like on the ground? No. Going from link to link? I mean, I can follow a path that that you can light them all up in order with because. Um, be okay. because there's, there are two tail ends, so I'm gonna just pick one of them. Um, but okay, we need to confirm that we'll all the symbols are the same first, so... Um, I'm assuming they all are, because I can't change them on my side. Uh, okay. So, if you're looking at 12 o'clock from... So this is, like, from where I'm walking... You know where we did the book thing earlier, where we did the candles? Yeah. I'm yeah. walking I'm walking past that and going to the front of that, and looking at my 12 o'clock is a lightning bolt coming down from, like, a explosion-looking thing. Or, like, two, like whipped feet on the duck yeah, yeah but just yeah. sideways so yeah all right that, that's enough then we only need to confirm that all right so let's do these in um let's do these in uh clock um clockwise yeah. well no not clockwise um because you have to do it in an order right so oh, based on symbols okay we'll do yeah. it on symbols it might be a bit easier that way well no i mean like because the position is the same so like for example nine o'clock is <coughs> one of the starting points like dead nine o'clock as a starting point yep okay i'll start there all right so then you go to you go to three o'clock uh hold on three yep then the one in between 12 and three so, so it'll we'll, be like one and a we'll half call it one call it one and a half mm -hmm. and then it's seven and a half six seven and a half yep and then six six then twelve 12 and then 10 and a half 10 and a half and then and the then last the, one the bottom one hey there we go something happened uh i don't know what the door that... i'm assuming the door opened uh, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try that what what should be summoned <laughs> my door's still locked but i think I've, re we're... I've reached a checkpoint all right we've still got more to do i've still got more to do in this room obviously oh Oh, I see what you mean. If it was to be facing one, it would probably be facing a triangle? Presumably. Okay. And what shape is that triangle? Um, like, wh which way is it pointing? Oh, you better hurry up. Just put it in. Just put it in! 